Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. I'm at the Family Dollar in Carrizozo, New Mexico, and the time right now is 9:46 Carrizozo time. And the sign on the door says they're open from nine to nine, seven days a week. And it just so happened that another lady pulled up that works at a restaurant nearby. And I asked her, I said, am I reading this wrong? She said, no. She said they can't get any help. Nobody wants to work. And she told me that she had worked at the restaurant yesterday for 16 hours because they couldn't get any help. And it occurred to me that that is, is ep epidemic. Now, I don't think not only in New Mexico, but probably all over the United States because I see all of these, of course, fast food, they always have high turnover. But I mean, I see some places like Walmart and others that, are, that, got, that have signs up, help wanted, um, all the time. It's like uh, they, ne it's, uh, they never have a full staff. But I just thought that was interesting that here's a town with a high, very high unemployment rate. New Mexico has a high unemployment rate. And I think what the reason is either the wages are so low that the people can't live on them, or option two, the millennials or the younger group just decided we don't want to work. I'm not sure. I mean, I know a lot of people are going to take option two, but who knows? I know they're going to try to raise the minimum wage to fit wage to $15 an hour. And this video is not about our, it's just about me rambling. I'm driving around Carrizozo because I don't have anything else to do this morning. I've already got the water, fresh water drained and refilled and added my stuff but I'll get off that, that road that goes through downtown or the main drag is rougher than a cob but yeah I guess, I guess uh, you know we've it's just a change you know uh, when I grew up it was hard to find a job sometimes I mean everybody was working and they were willing to work of course I mean that's the way we grew up maybe that's the change who knows but yeah, there, I see signs in most of the small businesses here, help wanted. And also, Capitan, they're, they're always looking for help in different places. The grocery store particularly, they're always looking for help. And uh, But anyway, I'm sure it has a, it's a combination of they can't afford to pay a lot of money because they don't, they got to compete with these store, stores like Walmart. And two, uh, the community average wage doesn't demand uh, a higher wage. But this is the main street in Carrizozo. I'm just cruising, guys. It says R and R straight in. There's that building that was sale. I don't guess he ever sold it. Mark was his name, I think. Uh, well, there's no for sale sign. Oh, it says for sale by owner. Yeah, Mark Cohen. Yeah. So I guess he didn't sell it. I was hoping he would. He may be, he may be stuck with this thing. This is an artsy little area downtown here. They've got, there's a little, uh, it's called uh, 12th Street Coffee there. There's a few people in there. But you gotta know they're just doing that for a hobby. I would, I'll go show you a house. It was for sale for $25,000 if you wanna go look at it. Y'all want to go look at it? Let's do it. Yeah, it's right off the you, you, the that that water you hear sloshing. I've got my thermos full of water behind the seat here, keeping it out of the sunlight. Let's go this here way, and I'll show you where it is. Well, there's a rail, there's a train there, and it stopped right where I need to cross. Wouldn't you know that? I don't know what that means. Not a good sign. I, I need to go straight ahead. Well, let's take a right and go out here on the highway. Until this thing gets moving. If it, Once they get moving, it doesn't take them long to get across the tracks. But let's go right right here. I'll go out there on the highway. i got to go too fast. But again, this is Carrizozo. This is a back street here, gravel street. I'll just cruise down. Every town has storage buildings, and I notice every one of them's got a lock on them. Even though this community is poor as dirt, they got their junk stored. 
That's everywhere in Kingsland, Texas, same way. There's old Vato. Como esta, amigo? Como esta? At least he waved. Probably the first stranger he's seen in 10 years. Let's see what street we're on here and y'all can check it out on Google Maps so you'll know exactly where I'm at. This is the poor side of town, I can tell you that. Uh, it's C Avenue and 13th Street. That's where we're at right now. C Avenue and 13th Street. Boy, we got him a horse, so he's not doing too bad. A horse is an expensive hobby. That train still hadn't started moving. Isn't there a rule they can only block an intersection for a certain period of time? I mean, what if EMS was trying to get across there? What would they do? Nothing? Well, they're probably changing engines or something. Or whatever, I don't know. What street are we on here? I don't have a clue. It's 1214, I mean, not the time, but that address. This is a gravel, well, this was paved at one time, and now it's kind of deteriorated, shall we say that. It has been reduced to almost all gravel. It, this is a neat little town. I mean, it's, uh, I thought about getting a lot here, but there's some things that it doesn't have that I would like to have. One of them's a grocery store. You know what I mean? It makes it nice when you can just walk down and get some groceries, even though they might be a little more expensive than they are in Ruidoso, which they are in Capitan, where I've got my lot, and I'm going there tomorrow. I'll keep fooling around, and we'll go back, and maybe that train will be out of the way, and I'll show you that $25,000 house. It's not bad. I mean, it's, it's okay. I mean, I, I wouldn't look looked at it. I sure did. And yeah, you could probably get it for less than 20, I imagine. I imagine if you offered them 15, you could settle around 18. You got a little, it's what you call a fixer upper, okay? You know what that is? It's falling in. I don't see a street sign or I'd tell you where we are. This is Secret Street. That's the high school right here, or part of the high school, cause, or something, because there's a football field out there. Beautiful. I mean, it's, it is just beautiful. The grass is just perfect. They got a lot of solar at this high school, and boy, this is so, this is a place to have solar for sure. That's okay. We're going to turn right on Airport Street, and this avenue, this is B as in Boy Avenue. We're going to turn right on airport street and go back around and see if that train has moved naturally we're going right into the sun side of sunlight if i find the street up here i'll turn i'm gonna have some of my tea i also have some almonds i got, I got just plain almonds this time just plain old unroasted raw almonds and then i got i have a bought a bar of dark chocolate like 78 percent dark chocolate we'll take a ride here there's the ems place okay we're taking a ride on e avenue from airport avenue and that building right there is what i don't have a clue but it's pretty Yeah, it's going to be a little warm here today. We've got a cool front coming in. It's already 88 right now, and it's only uh, mm -hmm. 9.55 a.m. That train hadn't moved one foot. Huh. Well, I can get around it if I have to. I know a way around it. But just about the time I get where I want to go, let's go there. Hell, let's get out of this thing, Russ. No sense dreaming that that guy's going to move. There's one for sale right here by owner. Nice little brick home. 
It's right by the railroad tracks, though. I mean, is that a bad negative? It, I don't know. It's not well. It's not right on the railroad tracks either. It's about three blocks off. Pretty little house. But no grocery store here. They got an all sups A L L S U P S, which is like a 7-Eleven. It has a few things, but you got to know that they ain't gonna be cheap. That stop sign doesn't turn green; it just stays red. Isn't that amazing? Uh, let's go this here way. I want to get on. A, I want to get on a, the main drag. Is this it? No. We'll just let this go. Some of y'all like driving videos. This guy is waiting for that stop sign to turn green. Oh no, he isn't. This is Central Street or something. I think this is the main drag. Yeah, it is. And this street is rough, rough, rough because they get a lot of truck traffic and apparently this state of New Mexico and the city of Carrizoso combined don't have a lot of money to spend on stuff like this. There's a building that says available. It doesn't say for sale. It, it's available. <laughs> I love all these new words we use. Nothing is used. It's pre-owned. <laughs> Crazy. Dress up used. Or junk. It's junk. Rosie's Pizza went out of business. Yeah, the restaurant they have here, the Mexican food place up here on the corner, it's okay. Uh, it, they, they're probably better at hamburgers and chicken fried steaks though, than they are at Mexican food. Or at least what, I, I got some enchiladas that were on a scale of one to 10, maybe a four. I guess Family Dollar fine. No, they didn't open it. There's people standing at the door. Isn't that how people are crazy, aren't they? They're used to going there at a certain time. The place is closed, so they just mingle around. You know, they just keep walking around in circles. Okay, let's go up this hill. See, this goes over the railroad tracks here. But it looks like he pulled out anyway. Huh. No, he's blocking it still. So we, we're smart. We did okay. Yeah, that street down there is still blocked. If I can find it going this way. This is the road that goes to Capitan. You've been on it several times. Okay. There's a little RV park right here. See where those mo mobile homes are? It's pretty well full though. I mean, not a bit of shade, just right there in the sun, and today they'll be toasting. When I was young and had no sense, I stuck my penis in an electric fence. It curled my hair and tickled my huevos. made me poop in my pants or something. I read that on a restroom wall in Port O'Connor, Texas. A little bathroom poetry. There used to be a lot of that. Some of it was pretty good. Oh, I saw one one time. It was kind of cute. Same area. It says, please do not throw toothpicks in urinal as crabs have been known to pole vault. <laughs> Don't you love these little pieces of humor? There's a place for sale there on the right. And when you see the one I'm going to show you, you're going to be very impressed. I mean, you're going to say, golly, all this for $25,000? No. It is. Let's see. I think I turn... I gotta go all the way to the end so I don't get mixed up. Well, I gotta go right and then left. Yeah, I gotta go all the way to the end. 
this is 14th Street. Yeah, we gotta go down here. Tea tastes good this morning. I put a, a little, I put one, uh, about a, not quite a tablespoon full of honey in the, in my tea. See, there's the train still blocking the tracks, but we're going to go left. So we went around him, you see? And all those other guys on the other side are waiting patiently. Well, why would you want to wait? Lead, follow, or get out of the way. Yeah, we go out here. It's a nice location. It's got a pretty good view. I mean, it's got some pluses. And from here to Rodoso is about 30 minutes or so. And from here to Capitan is 20. So, I mean, it's not like it's isolated so horribly. That sign there says almost a ranch. <laughs> yeah, you see the little house over here on the right hand side? On the right, the kind of a cream colored house. <laughs> they want 25000 for it. And the property comes all the way out here to this stop sign. Or that, you know, they got a pretty good sized lot. You know, you need, it's got a little storage building in it. See it right here? I don't, there's no sign for sale. I just heard it through the grapevine, so to speak. I'm going to pull in the driveway and turn around because nobody's bought it, I'm sure. But I came and looked at it. I did. I mean, it, it, you got a nice view, and you got a nice view from the backyard, too. So that's a bigger, big seller. And, uh, and it's a house. It's got all, everything. I mean, it, it needs work, though. You'd have to spend, uh, you need a little work on the roof. Uh, I figured when I looked at it that, it, you know, by the time you got the yard all cleaned up and a few boards replaced here and there and the roof done and, you know everything brought up to spec on the electric so you don't fry yourself that it would probably cost you about eight thousand <clears throat> so you're looking at a total of twenty six thousand for a home in carrizozo which i think would be a pretty good damn deal i do i think you'd make money off of it i mean this is not exactly a hot area but it ain't bad. People like this climate. And that's, it's got a view. I mean, you got a, a view from your front porch all around the mountains and stuff. Yeah, that, that was what sold me almost. Because I looked at that and I thought, shit, would I should be better off buying this or the lot in Capitan? <clears throat> and the answer came up, Capitan, because I really just don't want to handle... Even, there's a, even though there's a good place to park the RV when I was here and all that stuff, uh, just really not ready for a home yet. But anyway, having said that, guys, I'll end the video now. Thumbs up, carpe diem, adios, bye-bye. Buy anything you want, anytime. But if you think about it, use the link to Amazon products in the description of all of my videos. Why? Because I get a small commission or I get, I get some money. That's it. It's the bottom line. And uh, in some cases, it doesn't cost you a penny. The Amazon doesn't. But anyway, drink plenty of water, stretch, walk, take deep breaths, stand guard at the door of your mind. You know, take it, uh, take life easy, man. Take life easy. If you can. I mean, I know there's some of you that can't or you'd be fired. But for those of you that have the opportunity to lean back and enjoy the <clears throat> ride in the ocean of life, climb in your inner tube and just float through life and enjoy it. Que sera, sera. Anyway, guys, adios. Bye-bye.